Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So today, what are we going to be doing? We are going to do something slightly different. We are going to swap the places of the Earth and Sun, but not just swap their physical location. We're actually going to leave them where they are and make them into each other. So I have no clue how to make this into a title. I'll, I'll figure something out, but if you have a better one than mine, go ahead, post in the comments. I may change it because the wording here is going to be kind of odd. So the first thing we're going to do is delete every single object other than the Earth and Sun so that they don't get in the way. Which, if you didn't know, it just control clicking allows you to drag. And if we drag and delete, I think I've gotten most the asteroid belt there. Yep, good enough. And we're just going to delete all the outer stuff now. There goes about half. There goes about another half. And here goes the little bits left over. So now if you look, we just have the Earth and Sun, which is actually what we wanted. And now we are going to begin the process of swapping them. So a great question is, how are we going to do this? Um, that is an amazing question. And that's going to require us to... Hmm, how are we going to do... <laughs> how to... I can't talk. How are we going to do this? That is a great question. I'm going to do this uh, very simply. Uh, I've grabbed a pad of paper and I just need to write down a few things about the sun to make sure that we have the correct numbers on the earth. And what I'm writing down right now is just the radius and density so that we know that that's all correct. But what's also going to matter is temperature because we aren't going to get the correct uh, temperature most likely on our first try. So that is 5,775 Kelvin. And I think that is going to be good enough for us to switch the sun. But now it goes to Earth, and Earth... So I'm not sure we really have to do that much for Earth. Um, no, I think I can do Earth pretty easily. I just need to make sure I know what its albedo is. If we go to Climate... Oh, here it is. 0 0.32. I knew it was about 0 0.3, but... uh, Just gotta be careful there because we don't want to mess this up. So now we're going to start by making the Earth into the Sun. So we're going to have to keep the game paused from now on. We're going to go one Sun in mass, and that's going to do the first thing we want. And let's see, what's the radius supposed to be? What we're going to do is lock the mass. Okay, the mass is locked. And the density needs to go down to 1.37 grams per centimeter cubed. So if we do this and we get down to 1.37, that is correct. And that's going to bring us pretty much right where we want to be. But we have to turn this and this down and pull this up. Hopefully that didn't mess with our density at all. Nope. Okay, so that's looking good. The surface temperature is going to be four, uh, 5,000. See, this is why I wrote it down. 775 degrees Kelvin. And look at that. It looks exactly like the sun. We have actually perfectly mimicked it on Earth. And now if we go back to the sun, now it gets slightly more complicated because the sun isn't meant to go back to go into a planet in this, um, which is going to make this pretty complicated. Oh no, I just knocked something down. Rest in peace. Okay, so this actually won't be that hard. We're going to go to Earth and we're going to make it the size of one Earth. Oh, I never took uh, count of the density of Earth. Shoot. That's fine. 
we can just plop down on Earth here. <laughs> that would be 5.51, which, yeah, we're way low. I want this to be locked. 5.51. I hope I'm using the right units here, because that's a slight problem if I'm not... No, that's that's grams, not kilograms. So yeah, I may have used the incorrect uh, scale on the other thing, too. Oh, it's 5.51, not 551. There we go. So now everything is happy with that. Now let's actually go back and check the sun, because I want to make sure I didn't mess that up as well. The sun is 1.37 grams. Yeah, that's actually correct. So when it comes to that, we actually didn't do too badly. So we are at... That's the same. Actually, the radius is actually really close, so I'm not going to... Oh, shoot. This is supposed to be 1... Six, three, seven. Oh, we are so close. So very close. Okay, I'm going to call that close enough. And if we go down to age and stuff, that doesn't really matter. What does matter, though, is that we find mm, temperature. Now, 15 degrees is what we want on Earth. We need to go to materials. And what are the materials? Can I actually write it? No, I can't, but I can copy this actually, which is going to work fine because we're working with the same amount of stuff here. Okay, so that actually did work, 0.0226%. And then this is going to be that right there. Oh, jeez. We, we appear to have made a slight mistake. Um, and by slight, I mean quite big. Shoot, can we undo that? Uh-oh, that wasn't good. Let's get this back to one Earth. Because it's paused, though, I don't think it actually did any damage. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so... Rip. I don't actually know where... Here's here's the Earth. I think we actually lost the sun. Oops. Now, the sun was right in the center of this, so we can actually replace it right here. It's not the end of the world. Um... We can just try this again. Shoot, that was bad. Um, let's try this again without messing up. So we're just going to, we're gonna get the uh, density first. 5.51, so this just has to be 5.51. And we want to lock that, and we want to set this to, nope, lock that. Set this to one earth. Which brings us down to there, and then materials, we're going to just have to get as close as we can. 24.7-ish, because whenever we pull the sliders, we're going to edit other ones. 75.3. Nah. Nah. Okay, if we put these down to where they're supposed to be. So this is supposed to be, that's really close. This is supposed to be just super low. Super low. We're just going to put that to zero because it's honestly so low it won't actually affect anything. And that's close enough. And actually, that looks right. Now we may have to add a tiny bit more water for it to actually appear on the surface. Oh, shoot. Nope, that was way too much. We'll just leave it at 2.44. And I think that's good. I, I think... I mean, yeah. Oh, wait, that's supposed to be 0 0.0226. I think I did way too... 0 
Okay, yeah, way too much. That's the closest we're gonna get. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that was a slight mistake, but I don't think it's going to kill anything. Um, temperature is supposed to be at 15 degrees. And I think we're good. So now we're going to get this new Earth. Can we color it? No, because it used to be a star. Okay, so we're going to get this, and we're going to zero velocity both of these. We're going to have this go into orbit, and now it should actually look like Earth. Here we go, orbiting, and it's really dark. Why is it so dark? Oh, can the stars not be illuminated? Oh, that's a problem. Well, it seems like we can't actually see what we've done because of limitations on being able to see the light on stars. But we can actually see right here on this side window what it looks like by uh, for whatever reason. And we can add a little bit more water so that we can see it on the surface. Oh, it lost its water. Shoot. We, we actually did forget something quite important. Very important. Um, the atmosphere. So the surface pressure is supposed to be at one atmosphere. Which would have protected the water. Um, there we go. And this is supposed to be at 15. Oh, it's actually staying stable. Okay. This is 0 0.32. Okay, that's all correct. And now we're going to put the water back on and see what happens. Why are we losing it? We should not be losing the water so quickly. It's cool enough for water. I don't think this will change anything, but let's try putting a magnetic field on. Um, oh, I don't know what the normal Earth's magnetic uh, field is at. It's not a normal thing you have to know, you know. Okay. Oh, I can actually see it now. That's good. But I just lost that earth I just placed. There we go. Right there. And if we go to its materials and go down, life likelihood is so high. Um, that would be 0 0.319 Gauss. Yeah, not an easy number. Was not going to get that right. But now you know. And that, if that's ever on your test because you're you're in some class like astronomy that actually has to do with that, then you're going to get that test right now, so you're welcome. <laughs> and let's see if this survives. Oh, this looks so weird because it's not meant to like light up. Only the atmosphere is getting any light. Okay, so the sun... Um... <laughs> The sun's doing pretty great, you know. It looks great, but it's not supporting any water, which which really stinks. Um, I, I think we actually did everything right. Why did we lose so much mass? That's not right. That's not right at all. That's not right either. That should be about there. And this should be... Oh, there we go. We can actually see it. So if it doesn't instantly evaporate away, it'll look like this when we're done. Which is actually really nice. It looks like Earth. Hey, look at that! We did it! Ha! Look at that! Now, it's not green. We can't recolor stars. But... It looks like it would support life completely fine, and if we go to life likelihood, the Earth similarity is almost at 100%, but the life likelihood is so low. Jeez. Why is the life likelihood so low? Probably because the surface pressure is like a million atmospheres. Let's set that to one. 
And I think that's going to do what we need. Oh, that wasn't it. There we go. 51% chance of life. It's a beautiful planet. It's, it's pretty much Earth. And we did it. We have swapped the Earth and the Sun. Uh, not actual locations, but with uh, modifying their properties. Uh, wow. That, that that was quite fun. I, I quite enjoyed that. That was interesting. We don't do things like that often. So uh, there we go. That's it, guys. And um, I will see you all next time. What the heck? Oh, something survived. Okay, then. I will see you all next time. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, probably streaming today later too. So watch out for that. Yep, watch out for that. And uh, yeah, I suck at stopping videos. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's not the stop button.